Hi everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. I've had a lot of requests for a spring tutorial, so excuse the half done makeup. Um, I just also thought I'd show you um, very quickly my outfit of the day. It's coming into winter here, so it's a little tricky doing a spring um, tutorial, but I've been you know keeping an eye on the fashions and all that sort of stuff so there's a lot of black and white red navies and a lot of floral um, sort of prints so I have sort of bought that in with my rings and my jewelry um, but I'll just quickly stand up and show you so I've a lot of layering still going on so I've just got these necklaces um, that I've layered um, and I've just got this little black and white um, top on um, over a pair of jeans because like I say it is coming into winter sorry got to move my chair back now <laughs> so it is coming into winter one of the things that really is um, fairly um, definitely in fashion and particularly with the makeup like looking at all the different high-end um, fashion runway shows is very very um, glowy fresh looking makeup um, with basically just very neutral colors and a defined eyebrow is something, you know, like a tamed down eye, but a very defined eyebrow, crimson coloured lips, etc. So I'll just quickly run through what I've done so far, and I've done one eye to speed it up because I wanted to show you what I've done. So basically, I'm just grabbing my brushes. See, once again, I'm reaching even though I'm organised. So basically, what I started with was the sparkling tinted um, under makeup primer by Laura Geller. I absolutely love this um, it just adds just it's a great makeup primer but it also adds just a little bit of glow to your skin so I used that to start and I just used which I just dropped and I just used this BH Cosmetics skunk brush for that then for my foundation I used um, a couple of drops of the um, MAC um, luster drops with my MAC foundation and I applied that with my Real Techniques um, buffing brush so I just uh, dropped a couple on the end and away I went buffed it all in um, to cover everything so those last drops I've had for ages and they just last and last and last then I used my um, mineralized MAC skin finished in natural um, this is the in the color medium as my powder so I just used that which I applied with my elf and I can't find it my, aha, my elf powder brush um, because I just love the finish that this gives with the powder um, then what else did I do I um, contoured using my Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil if I can open it so Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I used a, I actually used an Illamasqua blush brush for this that I just pinch to get into the contours. So that's what I used for my contour shade. Um, then I used my, um, my favourite, my e.l.f. Um, balance and brighten a uh, concealer and highlighter sorry and I use this color under my eyes because it's got that salmony sort of look to it which I really really like and it just takes away any of the dark circles etc under my eyes and I, to apply that I used my um, setting brush from Real Techniques and then on the other side of that I always use the e.l.f. Um, high define under eye setting powder for under my eyes for setting my powder I just find it gives a really beautiful finish and it's just got a hint of shimmer in it just to add that bit of glow to your skin um, then what else did I do blush I used my um, Real Techniques blush brush and I applied Bourjois Pig from NYX I really love this colour it's just it really is just I'll do a swatch it's just this beautiful, beautiful pink um, that just, instead of wasting it, I'll add a bit more. It gives you this beautiful flushed sort of colour to your cheeks, which is just beautiful. I just love it. And I've dropped that too. I've butterfingers, I can tell you. Um, and then on top of that, using a, this is the um, dual fibre um, brush from Sigma. 
and I just went in with my Too Faced candle lit um, and applied that just lightly um, across my cheekbones, up above my brow bones and just highlighted and I also have put some on the center of my lip because like I say the Rum Ray is really about shiny every single model I looked at, I've seen and I've watched um, a lot of have all got very shimmery shiny makeup so that very fresh dewy glowy sort of um, makeup the other thing if you don't have candle lit it's not I'm, I'm not into dupes um, but I this elf um, and I wish I could read the name of it but it's basically a white bronzer it works really beautifully it's just got this lovely sheen to it um, and it really does highlight you know it's got that little hint of gold and that nice shimmer just to perk up your cupid's bow your cheeks you know you can use it as a highlighter it's one of those it's just a really great um, product so I like that that is pretty much it I think for most of my face now I'll go on to my lips one of the colors that is really really popular at the moment is this crimson sort of red it's a quite an unusual color so I'm just quickly going to line my lips with the um, this is bloom from NYX it's just sort of a soft pencil and I am just going to do really the outline of my lips and only because I normally fill my lips in but because of the lipstick I'm going to use it covers it beautifully so I just this is um, a Miranesse product which I know um, you can get in America these are new lipsticks that I am just such a massive fan of this is the color this is number 14 and it's called twist so it's this beautiful sort of corally crimson pink and it just is a beautiful color for spring so that is definitely one of the runway colors that I've I noticed over and over again the other color that is really 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 prevalent is red like a beautiful beautiful red um, something like wrong one um, this one from Milamaska is I would say something that is very very um, very very in it's definitely this true true red color um, is something that was very very popular for spring um, so being that the eye colors that are being that are in vogue are fairly neutral um, you can definitely get away with that red color anyway on with my eye so today um, I'm just using I've decided a lot of um, people who do YouTube tutorials use really high-end products all the time and I don't use a lot of really high-end products day to day and I'm trying to use different palettes so I've decided that I'm going to go back to some fairly basic products um, that are really affordable um, so that they're doable for everybody so if you'd like to see more like this with the wet and wild palettes and or, or let me know what palettes you've got and I'll see if I've got them as well and I can do some looks using those um, it's just not everybody has those higher end palettes and I'm on a no buy so I can't keep going out and buying just makeup endlessly because um, it's too expensive it just you know especially for me here in Australia so this is one of the new eye tattoos this one is precious pearl so I don't know if you've seen these or not yet it's these it's a beautiful um, color I'll just put it on the back of my hand but it fades out into this beautiful shimmery just a really nice base color so I'm just going to use that on my eye and honestly it shears out but I really like it it's very similar um, I've been using the um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cashmere and this is sort of, it's not the same but it's similar in that it gives you this beautiful base with just this hint of um, shimmer underneath it and being that what I've seen has a lot of 
shimmer I, and I like I like my shimmer I like putting this down because even if I use a um, matte mus a matte eyeshadow it gives me that shimmery sort of look still so I'm going to use the walking on eggshell palettes today by wet n wild and I'm really just following the instructions so just going to go in with this little flat brush um, this is a coastal scents brush this is the BRC N02 but any look any brush like this will do I mean I could use one of my real techniques ones if I wanted to so I'm just going in with the cream color for the brow and I'm not putting a lot on because it's quite a strong color and I just want to place a bit of that in my tear duct and pull that up as always and then just pull that through my brow bone so I did notice that you know there was h highlighting on the brow bone as as well so and I do like to highlight my brow bone and then I'm just going to ship sh bleh, 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 flip that over and I'm just going in with this pretty pink eyelid color so just packing that on the brush and I am just going to take that all over the lid so really simple just up to the crease so and that's it for that then I am going to do I'm going to use this fabulous um, purple color well it's a plummy color it's one of the L'Oreal infallibles and it is the um, what's it called smoldering plum it is just the most beautiful color and I just love it and a lot of what I saw on the runways was purples or um, a plummy color or a green or a teal so I just decided to go with plum today so I'm just going to take that and I am going to run that really close underneath my bottom lash line just to give me a bit of color and I'm just going to join going to join that up to my uh, the white and then I'm just going to push that in along my lash line just to add a bit of a definition and just a bit of color to my lash line so you can leave that as it is if you like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that the other thing I'm going to do now this is a Sigma blending brush but honestly any blending brush will do I'm going in with that crease color in that walking on eggshells palette um, which is this beautiful sort of taupey brown color and I am just running that through my crease and I am just going to take some of that off my brush because I picked up a lot of loose stuff and even though I tapped it off I've still got too much on there so just going to blend that with windshield motion rainbow motions whatever you want to call them through my crease just to give that a better bit of definition and then what I did on the other eye because I like my bit of depth I just went in back in with the smoldering plum and deepened up my outer V now I saw both on the runway some really smoky eye looks some very very plain spring and the colors are very similar to what they have been so you know the teals are still in then just with my fan brush just knock away any of that fold out and then I'm just going in with a clean blending brush this happens to also be a Sigma blending brush um, I'm just going to blend that smoldering plum a little bit more through my crease so that's pretty much it for the eye I noticed I've just got it all down the side of my nose which is not a very good look so that's pretty much it really um, very simple um, very easy basic basic eye look so now I'm just going to curl my lashes 
and I've just got to do my lashes and my brows and we're done. I do love this crimson sort of wet colour. It's, it's really nice and it's something just a little bit different. I'm just, you can use anything you like for your brows. I just happen to have this Miraness um, Touch Up Brow Sculptor which I really, really like. It's got a pencil on one end and a um, mascara gel on the other. So something else that's really in vogue at the moment is very sort of fairly straight eyebrows. So um, still with the arch, but it's not quite as defined, if you like, as the arches have been in the past. So, and then I'm just putting that sculpting gel through and just taming my brows so that trying to keep that fairly straight sort of look. So that's that and then I am just going to go in with my um, False Lashes Voluminous Mascara. I just love this. This is seriously, I don't know, I have so many favourites but for a look like this, this mascara I often get questions on doing false lashes. I don't wear false lashes ever. Um, well, when I say ever, I think I've worn them two or three times in my whole life. There's a number of reasons for that. Number one, I can't apply them to save my soul. I try, but I can't. Um, so I don't wear them because I simply can't apply them. And number two, um, I just don't see the need to wear them you know, I quite like my lashes the way they are and with the beautiful mascaras that you've got that can give you really thick lashes, I don't feel like I need to be applying false lashes regularly. I think false lashes are something for, you know, if you like false lashes then go for your life, wear them with every look, but I guess I just... I can't apply them and number one and number two I really just hate the feeling of them I feel like they weigh my eyes right right down so I'll just zoom in and give you a closer look at my eye finished look so that's the look for my eye and this is the I'm really hoping that this color shows up properly for you guys, I know what I can see in the camera, but what you see is different. And I just hope the light's caught this really pretty crimson colour and it's not making it look too pink. So, um, really hope you've enjoyed that. So, that's one of my looks for spring. Again, I've used a couple of Real Techniques brushes just to show you, you know, some different ways to use them. Um, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more, please give me a thumbs up, please feel free to leave a comment and if you haven't already subscribed please do so because it means the world to me. hope you have a great day whatever it is that you're doing and I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.